Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I kind of wanted to spread the word about being present for people, being emotionally aware and emotionally caring for others. And the reason why I bring this up is because when my mom had her cancer the first time, it made me realize that I am very fortunate. I am very, very fortunate to have my parents here. I'm very fortunate that I get to see them every day, that I have the ability to make the effort to show them I care. So when mom got diagnosed, I realized that I, that could all be taken away like that. It could all be gone. So I reflected back on life because a long time ago, <laughs> wow, not like 50 years ago, I'm only 39, but a long time ago, I was a social butterfly. I love people. I had many friends. You know, we were all present in each other's lives. We were huggers. We were happy. We were connecting. And then we lost our first child. And then a second. But the first one was the one that did it. Um, I didn't want that energy anymore. I didn't want that. I didn't want anyone around me. I was done. I was mad at life. I was done. And so I cut everyone off. Everybody. I didn't give my friends the option nor the ability to give me that love and care that they should have been able to do. I took that away from them. I had no right to. But I was angry with life and I didn't care about anyone but myself. And so reflecting on that moment in life, and I never recuper I didn't recuperate quickly from that. It took years. It took years. <laughs> but the habit of separating ourselves and not being social anymore and not not expending energy to care for other people and love other people. I cut that off, you know, that, that wasn't right. So what I realized was that moment in life had affected me up to now, well, to two years ago. And we gained friends, dear, dear friends that we have today. And we're fortunate to be present in each other's lives, to make that effort every morning to say good morning, to talk and to say good night. So when mom got her cancer two years ago, the breast cancer, I made myself promise to always be mindful of their existence, but not only hers, of everyone else around me, to take that time and expend that energy to show my love and my care. Whether it's picking up a f the phone and calling someone, whether it's chatting on Messenger or WhatsApp, whether it's me walking out of my bedroom door to see my mom and dad and kiss them good night or to say good morning. Those little things matter, not only for myself emotionally, because it does feed your soul when you're able to, to exchange energy and love with other people, but for them, you know, it subconsciously, they're aware that I'm aware of them and their existence. And I think it matters. Not only, I think it matters to any human being. Because we, we want love, you know, we, we want those friendships, majority of us. And I'm not saying I, I'm social like I used to be because I'm definitely not. I'm pickier now, but still, I love being able to love, if that makes sense. I am so grateful that I can do that. I can love other people and care for them and be there for them. And mom, mom hit home with that, you know, because she, her, she made me very aware and very present of the existence that we have, that it is not guaranteed, that it can be taken away at any time. And that we take it for granted every day. That we're here for each other. And we take it for granted 
that ourselves are here right now, you know? So I wanted to share that with you because I think society has taken that stance of, oh, you can't talk to each other if you don't know each other. We, we shop and people don't smile at each other. They don't say hello. You know, and I see it sometimes here, yes. But 90% of the time, people just walk on by and that's it. And I'm not saying stop and try and talk to people because they'll think you're bloody crazy. But at least a smile. Because a smile can make a difference in someone's day. A simple hello to acknowledge somebody can actually change the course of their day. Sometimes their life. You never know. But to be present and be aware of each other and to and to, to take that time to spend the time to make that effort, it matters. And now that mom has spinal meds, it truly matters for me to always make that effort with her. You know, to, to always take that time and just be present, be there. And I think we should all try and do that. We should all try and sit and realize, hey, was I there for this person today? Was, did I take that time to say, hey, what's up? Just to say that, it makes a difference, you know? So take that moment, pick up the phone after watching this or while you're watching this, pick up your phone and chat somebody and just say, hey, how you doing? You know, it, it it truly makes a difference. Trust me, it does. And don't worry about anything, any of my backstories, I'll get to that later. But I just want to thank you for listening briefly to this rambling video. And I hope that you take that time real quick just to say hi, that you take that time to say I love you. And if you have your parents here still on this earth with you, Go say hi. If they're present with you in the same room or the same house or, or just nearby, go kiss them. Go give them a hug. Video chat them if they're far away, but make that effort because those little things matter. And it can truly change a person's emotional state too, even just by saying hi. All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I know that was long and stupid, but thank you. And I'll talk to you soon.